Hey, Octavio. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I'm even better now that I'm talking to you. I've been <sighs> wanting to do this for quite some time. I've been following your career for a minute. Oh, um, thank you. Yes, of course. So having said that, as someone who is um, a Latinx director, there's not a lot of people of color in this space. You know, we got we had Floyd Norman for the longest time, Bruce Smith and a couple of other people. Um, but now, you know, it's starting to become more the norm as opposed to the exception. And so having said that, I wanted to know what it was like for you the first time you got a call to enter this space for the first time. Oh, wow. Uh, it was pretty amazing um, for me. It, it is one of those things where it, it's taking a minute to, to actually have, you know, uh, people of color uh, coming up into these ranks. Yeah. But uh, the opportunity to work at Locksmith and for them to let me come on to this project and for what it was, you know, the idea of, you know, a kid basically feeling socially awkward and different felt something that I could relate to. So it was when I read the script, it was like, oh my gosh, this seems like up my alley about creating some kind of story about somebody trying to just fit in and it's not working exactly the way they would want to. So uh, for me to have the opportunity to direct and to tell the story, especially because, you know, being a parent and having kids of my own and in this world of like tech, it's this idea of like, it's not a bad or good thing about the idea of explaining what tech is, but the way of been maneuvering through all the social networks um, and this movie time tells that story. It absolutely does. I also wanted to find out, you know, there's a lot about heart in the, the confines of this film. Heart in how you deal with it in different ways. Heart in how you deal with somebody that's different. The heart of technology. There's so many different things that connect back to the heart, right? And so how do you define um, what the heart of Ron's Gone Wrong is and what does that mean for you to communicate that via animation? Because that's a huge message for children and or adults. You mentioned that you have kids. So the kids are gonna view that message one way and the adults are gonna view it different. But what does it feel like for you to be able to communicate that message in such a universal way? That's an, a, a, actually a great point. Um, the observation of it being about heart and, and this idea of connection is super important to me. Um, it's this thing of having a conversation with your kids who are dealing with being the likes and the posts. And how do I basically feel like I can be part of a tribe or a group? Um, so to me, this was like a, a love letter to my, my kids and also for parents as well. The idea of being able to connect and for them to feel like they're not alone. I think that's like one of the biggest things for Ron and, and Barney who are looking um, at each other going like, hey, how, are we friends? Like, how do we define friends? And what does that actually mean? Like, how do we socially interact with each other? And that sense of like being different um, is something that it should be, you know, not to feel like I'm the only one going through it, which actually a lot of kids feel nowadays being, you know, a parent and an 80s kid that didn't have any of those, that tech. It's this idea of like, how do I actually maneuver through all of this? I know, because as a kid, we went outside to play. Like, you exactly. know, you came home from school, you went outside and you played with other kids until it got dark or the street lights came on, came on. That's what it was. But now, you know, there's all this technology and you bring up a really good point because um, how do you think this film is going to enhance a, a world that's already presently having that disconnect of young people with the use of technology and being present? Because the technology takes them out of being present. Because they're so used to, you know, doing this. How do you think that this film is going to help um, help that? To I a would think, uh, yeah, the way the way that helps that, or what we're trying to do, um, is basically trying to get ourselves out of like what you know with the social interaction and the algorithm of the friendship, which is it puts you with this like-minded people. This mm -hmm. actually the idea with Ron and Barney, the relationship is that they're totally different. And so I would say, maybe not the hands, but we have a different perspective of having different opinions and different ideas and not trying to be all in this one group is a way of kind of like stepping back. The idea of trying to have a different perspective, interacting with different kind of people is the way to go, um, I would say. And, and, and again, it's, it's something that we, it's here to stay. Tech is here to stay, but the idea is how do you find a way to get that other perspective and not be caught up with the followers and the likes and all these other things 
but how you can actually have um, a new way of thinking, which is how do I interact with other different people, people that I wouldn't even actually take the time to know. Um, hopefully that will actually get us out in the world to kind of do those things. And last but not least, if you had to choose a B-Bot for yourself that you would want to get, what would your B-Bot be? Oh, wow. Um, I, for one, would uh, like to have a Ron just because of the way he is and how he is inquisitive, deadpan, honest, brutally honest about everything. Um, and again, if I had a different kind of skin, maybe it might be the, the Ghetto Blaster, you know, radio <laughs> ones that are actually in the movie, which I think is awesome. This, I think specifically the one that Rich has. Uh, but yes, that would be my bot. I kind of love you for picking a Ghetto Blaster b bot. That is the best way to end this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations on the film and everything else that you've done. And I'm looking forward to more of your work in the future. Oh, thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you so nice much. Nice meeting you too. Bye-bye.